Hello, good people. Welcome to today's math class. Today we have this nice question before us here. If you look at this question, you may think the question is simple. But if you're not careful enough, you'll run into some problem. Okay? So how do you solve this question? x to the power of x minus 1 equal to x to the power of 1 minus x. Okay, so if you yeah, this is all I must TV, and if you've not subscribed, do it to subscribe and when you subscribe turn on the notification button so that you get notified whenever we drop an amazing video like this one right now so let's go into this challenge and see what this gives us okay so we take our solution first thing first all right now let's take a look at this question again here we are having this x here we're having this x so can we equate the exponent? If we equate this exponent, what will happen that we will have our x to be just one. Okay, x will be just one. But here yeah, we want to solve for about two roots to this challenge. And so equating the exponent at the beginning will lead us to only one root. So how do we get the two roots? Now let's rewrite this exponent and rewrite this exponent. How? So let's take here, we have our x, which is x. Look at this x here. It will still be there. So we have our x here. Look at minus 1. Minus 1 could be written as x all over. So we have here minus x all over x. Okay? We got this, divide this, will give us 1, which is the same thing as this. Then equal to we come to this other side, we have x. Again, we write this as x all over x. So we're going to have here x all over x minus x. So what we want to do here now? Easy. So from here, we want to factor x from here, factor x from here, because we have x comma here, x comma here, x comma here, x comma here. So let's go ahead and factor x from this part here now. So if we use x to divide this x we are left with one then minus if we use x to divide this we are left with one all over x those bracket everything equal to again we also factor x from here and here so if we use x here to divide this we are left with one all over x then minus if we use x to divide this we are left with one those bracket now let's take a look at the exponent. Here we are having 1 minus 1 all over x, and here we are having 1 all over x minus 1. So I want to rewrite this term in this bracket in this format. And so I want to bring this one to this side. It's carrying a minus sign. And this 1 all over x is carrying a plus sign. So how do we do that? So this is going to give us our x to the power of x bracket 1 minus 1 all over x close bracket this is equal to our x all to the power of let's keep this x here bracket minus 1 then we have here plus 1 all over x close bracket what we have here the same thing we have here. but look at this here now here we are having 1 minus 1 all over x so what we do we want to bring out this minus out here see what this gives us so we're going to have here x to the power of x bracket 1 minus 1 all over x close bracket this is equal to our x into our minus x bracket 1 minus 1 all over x ah i told you that in solving this challenge you just have to be careful now look at what we have here and what we have here are they the same yes they are not the same. Now, according to the law of indices, we see that if you have your a to the power of m n, this is equal to your a to the power of m is bracket, or to the power of n is also equal to your a. You can move this in and bring this out, a to the power of n, or to the power of m. So remember this law? Now, this is very special law in indices. That enables us to solve many challenges, right? So let's continue on this part. So how do we want to write this now? 
want to put this and this in bracket, put this and this in bracket. So we cannot have this to be our x out to the power of x, then bracket, put the whole of this in bracket also, so we have 1 minus 1 all over x plus bracket, this is equal to, we come to the side of it here. So this will give us here our x to the power of minus x all in bracket, all raised to our 1 minus 1 all over x in bracket. Well, how we get this sound here? Good. So what we do here now, we discover that the power, the exponent are the same. So since the exponent are the same, if I equate to this, right? All right, so from here, this now means that our x to the power of x, which is this, will now be equal to our x to the power of minus x. Easy. We want to make the right hand side of this equation to be unity. In other words, we want to make it to be 1. So we divide by x to the power of minus x. Then we divide by x to the power of minus x. This, this, this. So this gives us 1. The bases here are the same. So we can now take this power up here and add it, or subtract it rather, because we have a division sign here. Remember the law of indices? It says that if you have your a to the power of m dividing a to the power of n, say this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. Remember this law also? Good. So if you remember this law, what we have here is same. So let's move this guy up here. So this is going to give us our x to the power of x. Here we have a minus sign. So it's going to turn to Yes, yeah, because we're going to have minus times minus. We have plus our x here yeah, equal to 1. So we can add these two together to give us our x is equal to 2x equal to 1. Are we getting something here? Yeah. All right. Now, this is what we want to do here now. Yeah, we want to have an exponent of x on this other side, and you know 1 to the power of x is equal to 1. And so we can rewrite this according to this law again. Yeah, right? So this is going to give us here our x, this side of the equation is going to be to the power of 2, all to the power of x. This is equal to 1 to the power of x. Right? Good. So since the exponents are the same, we cannot equate the base. So this is our give us here, x to the power of 2 is equal to 1. And you see what we see here? All right. So we are looking for x. So we take the square root of both sides. Take the square root of both sides. Okay, this is our 1, please. Right? So at this point, we produce plus minus. This radical goes with it. So we now have our x is equal to plus minus one right so we have our x1 and x2 from this challenge yeah now, or like if you had cancel this this cancel this this they equate the exponent here yeah, yeah, that will give you positive one but again we want to check if the positive one and the negative one we just saw for we actually satisfy the original equation so let's take a simple check on this other side all right do this uh, check. Okay. So we're taking case one. That is our case one. I'm taking x one is equal to positive one. Okay. This is our positive one. We're taking our x one to be positive one. So look at our original equation. We have x to the power of x minus one equal to x to the power of one minus x. So let's put in one here. We have 1 to the power of 1 minus 1 equal to 1 to the power of 1 minus 1. So this will give us this. So we have 1 to the power of 0 equals to 1 to the power of 0. And anything raised to the power of 0 will give us what? 1. So we have 1 equal to 1. This shows that the first root x equal to positive 1 satisfies the original equation. So let's take our case 2. So check for case 2, we have answer 2 where we have x 
is equal to that's our x is equal to minus one. So here we're going to put here minus one out of the power of minus one minus one equal to minus one to the power of one minus one. Right? Okay. So here it's going to take minus minus. Right? So sorry. We are going to take bracket minus one plus bracket. So this this will give us minus one to the power of minus two. This is equal to minus one to the power of this will give us plus two. So you are going to have one. Yeah, minus times minus will give us plus. So one plus one will give us two. So we can rewrite this. This is going to give us minus one all over our one to the power of two. What we have here is the same thing as this. We only eliminated this negative here. So this is equal to minus. Now this minus 1 to the power of 2, it gives us 1. Don't make the mistake of saying that this power is affecting this minus. No. There is difference between this expression. For instance, if you have minus 1 to the power of 2 and minus 1 bracket out to the power of 2. This Two here is affecting this minus, so it will give you positive. But the year this two is not affecting this, and so this will still give us minus one. I will learn this one here. All right. Now, what is one to the power of two? That is one, and so minus one divided by my, uh, by one will give us what minus one. So in all, we now have this to be minus one equal to minus one. So this shows also. Uh, the second root, which is negative one, also satisfied the original equation. All right, so this brings us to the end of this math class. If you learned something from this video tutorial, drop it in the comment section. And again, you have a tutorial of solving these. Then also leave it in the comment section so that all I must take, I only learn from you. Thanks for always be there. Thanks for encouraging us. Thanks for watching our content. Until we see you in our next video. Do not forget to keep winning. Bye for the now.